What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and uh, welcome back to another Luna Classic update. It's an update I have been doing for quite some time already. Um, and I'm going to continue doing them. I think it's um, I think it's really valuable, definitely with moves like these, which we got yesterday. Uh, today, I also wanted to talk a little bit about the burn tax. Uh, is it getting implemented on different exchanges? What is some of the news around it? Is it really implemented on Binance? What are they going to do? What are some of the tricks exchanges could pull? Um, all right, and apart from that, we're also going to be taking a look at a technical analysis. A little bit of the inflation rate numbers, they are coming up, US, uh, US dollar inflation or United States inflation rate numbers, I should say. Uh, those make the crypto, crypto market move quite quite a quite a bit too it doesn't make luna classic move that much uh, if you if you take a look at the history uh, but still it's 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 bullish or bearish for the whole crypto market right where a higher than uh, expected inflation rate this is the expectation um is bearish and if it's lower than expected it's bullish you can all check that out on myfxbook.com and, and check out the economic calendar uh, so we're going to be ta talking a little bit about that but um and, and a technical analysis, but first a little bit about the burn tax. So yesterday I made a video on, on Binance, all right? If they were going to implement a burn tax, uh, which it's, it's, it's a weird thing to say because it's, it's really just on chain. So it's just, it, the burn tax will be implemented in the code of the Terra Classic chain. There's not really a way to go around it except for one way, all right? And we are going to be talking about that. Uh, for now, though, if you take a look at the markets, KuCoin is going to support it. Gate.io is going to support it. Huobi, I'm not sure, actually. Uh, and we haven't really heard from Kraken, I think. I'm not sure. Kraken could actually be uh, a difficult one. But the main ones are obviously KuCoin, Gate.io and Binance. Uh, and Binance was very unclear about it. And KuCoin and Gate.io also said they supported it. As I said, it's just on chain. They cannot really do anything against it. Uh, to stop it except for one thing binance obviously what we also saw in the news article yesterday just if you want to know that just look up binance l-u-n-c burn tax and you'll get an article is that they said that they would do it on deposits and withdrawals of luna classic on the platform so the way in which they could do that and the way in which other exchanges could do that too is if you um, uh, let people deposit luna classic then you take away that burn tax all right, and then you wrap it in an ERC two to ERC twenty token, so you put it on the Ethereum blockchain, and then you have Luna Classic, the Ethereum version, on Binance. And if you transact that, I mean, it's it's it's. I'm not sure if that actually counts in the burn tax, because you're transacting it on the Ethereum network and not on the Terra Classic network, and the burn tax is for the Terra Classic network. Um, it's not necessarily for Luna Classic. I don't think it says that in the proposal. Uh, so that's the way could, that they could do that. And then they only take away that burn tax if you deposit it. And if you withdraw it, they unwrap it, put it on the Terra Classic blockchain again, and then they take away that burn tax again. And to be honest, if Binance, KuCoin, Gate.io all do it that way, it, you're not going to burn enough to uh, burn enough supply to actually get to one cent or to 10 cents. All right, you're not even going to get to one cent. Um, you really need it with every transaction. So it's, go it's going to be waiting for when we are going to get that because, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, it's pretty scary, to be honest. If they're going to wrap it, <clears throat> that would be the only way in which they could do that, um, I think, at least. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, if you have any uh, other information about that, please let me know. Um, but for now, that's um, that's not the analysis, but that's that's what I wanted to say about that burn tax. Uh, KuCoin and Gate.io, I'm pretty sure they're going to do it with every transaction. All right, that's still a lot of volume. You're still going to burn a lot of uh, you're still going to burn a lot of supply. Is it enough to get to 10 cents? Yeah, I mean, of course, long term, but uh, it's going to take a long, long time. All right. So for now, let's actually take a look at the. Uh, at the price yesterday, what we talked about is that we had a very interesting market formation. You have this, tri this triangle. We had a clear bearish breakout. It was very clear. And I thought we would drop down to 35,000. In reality, uh, 30,000 was a stronger level. All right, so right now we're at 30,000. It, it does look like we have some bullish momentum. To me, the only way in which, I mean, my price target right now, the first price target would be 50,000. And then from 50,000, it's going to be 65,000. Uh, but more updates will definitely come 
For now, Luna Classic looks pretty bullish. I think we can go all the way up to 40,000 again. I don't really see a way in which we can break 40,000 like within the next day. I'll make another update tomorrow. Maybe then we can break it. But for now, I think we can get up there. But I do think we will stay under it, kind of uh, stay in this area. Um, and then the main thing is we need fundamentals. We need more. We need like a clear Binance statement on what they're going to do. Uh, if they're not getting, if they're not giving us that, it's it's probably bearish. All right. Um, and obviously, it's it's just waiting until that proposal. The proposal is passed, but it only gets into the price at a certain point, right? It's waiting for that. It's waiting for how quickly it decreases the supply. If that's all, if, if, if that's all positive, we're just going to do something like this. All right. But until this happens, uh, we're going to consolidate, I think. And we might even drop down all the way to 25,000. I wouldn't be too scared about that, um, that we're dropping down to 25,000 because we've all seen the, the, the strength of this community. Um, and from 25,000, I think we can easily get up to 50,000 and to 65,000 again. Then a little bit more about the inflation rate. I don't want to make the video too long. Uh, inflation rate doesn't really affect Luna Classic that much, if I remember correctly. Um, but, but still, I mean, overall, it's, it's pretty bearish, right? If, if the inflation rate is higher than expected, the chances of dropping down to 25,000 significantly increase. If it's, if, if, if it's lower than expected, we might actually have some sort of a chance to break above 40,000 already within the next 24 hours. Uh, so those are some of the, uh, the things to, to remember. But for now, that's my, my take <clears throat> and my updates on Luna Classic. Uh, so if you do have any questions, if you want to discuss anything, feel free to do so in the comments. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening. And of course, I hope to see you all tomorrow again. Uh, and until then, take care. Bye.